understand is wrong active relationship. We understand between two tables, we must require relationship. That is, we are clear about it. If you do not have relationship, then system is going to create grand total whatever available that is populating for each and every value. That's what we saw 256, 256, 256 like that. There is nothing but overall data grand total that is mapping to each and every row it is mapping. So bottom line is we understand relationships are required, but if I have wrong active relationship, wrong active relationship, what will happen? This is the best example, whatever we have the data. I have here project tickets and one table is available and I have here employee role and I have one table is available. For bet better understanding, let me take this one separate Excel. I'm trying to take here separate Excel. I'm opening here separate Excel. Then we want to take here this data, whatever we have it. So this is we are saying as first table that is known as project tickets. If you closely observe this one, have these are the columns what we have. Uh -huh. Something is wrongly copied. Let me delete this. Okay. Now. Now. We have something like this. Right, and this is what the data what we have it. So we are going with all borders and we are trying to take this one as a blue color just for our understanding. And even I want to make this as a one table. I want to make it proper table, proper table. To make the proper table, select this data we have here. We have here insert. We have here table. Then it is asking the area of the table. Click on OK. Now this is made as a table. And name of this table I want to put here as project tickets is the name of the table. So we are trying to change this name as project tickets. We are changing. So we created a table we created inside the sheet one. We created the table. In this space, I want to create one more table. Let us go and try to take one more table. Employee two, then till here. I am putting here. Then let's try to take something like this. And this is the header. And this is the borders we are trying to put it. Borders we are putting. And also, I want to insert this as a table. Let us go and try to insert this as a table. Click on OK. And we want to name this table as employee role is the table we want to name it. So we go for employee role. So now we have here. This is the employee role table. This is the project tickets table. Now we have two tables. We have it. Now try to observe here data relation. Let me make somewhat smaller size. Right click. Then row height is equal to some 15 I am keeping. Now we are able to see all the data properly. If you closely observe, I have here some columns. I have here some columns. So this is the column we have here submitted by and opened by. And opened by has the employee names. I have to connect with the employee only here. Submitted by also has employee names that also I need to connect with the employee here. So I mean to say between these two tables, we have here two relations. We have it. I need to connect. I need to connect. I need to connect this with the this only I need to connect. OK, and also. And also I need to come on. I need to connect same this one also we need to connect with the open by only we need to connect right. So what I want to say is here one. One column here 
matching with the opened by column as well as submitted by column both the things it is matching here this is submitted by whatever we have it submitted by whatever we have it this one this one and whatever we have here employee it is matching and also opened by also whatever we have it that also matches with the employee here i have two relationships i have it here i have two relationships i have it which relationship is correct which relationship is correct well no one can answer that question actually which relationship is correct because based on the situation based on the situation some relationships will be correct i mean to say what is your question based on the question the relationship which is correct will be changes if i ask the question based on the opened by based on the opened by based on the opened by i want to know roles and i want to know hours then we need to open by an employee we need to connect based on the submitted by i want to know role and i want to know hours then i need to connect submitted by an employee i have to connect so what way you want to know what way you want to know that makes which is correct relation for example now let me save this one first i am going to the desktop and we are trying to understand wrong active relation ship this is the name what i am giving i would like to import this one into our power bi so to decrease the confusion i would like to go with the new document new pbx file i am going so this one whatever already we have it i am deleting that one so let us go and try to remove that now it's opening it's opening now it is open let me import this one this wrong active relationships whatever we have it we are trying to open then we can notice i have employee role and we have project tickets then i would like to load this one we are trying to load it then if you load it here if you go and try to see the model if you see the model here it's going on now you see the model here in the model it's opening somewhat slow it is now we have here employee role and project tickets two things are available do i have any relation time being no now i want to create the relation how i can create the relation again let us see this notes what it talking we have the two things now we created here two relationships we created there are actually two relationships here between employee in the employee role table and submitted by between opened by from the project tickets table and employee in the employee role okay submitted by and this one opened by and this one two relations trouble if you add both relationship to the model opened by first then manage relationship dialog box shows that opened by is active so only one will be at a time active let us go and try to do this one i am trying to connect here employee to opened by and also i am trying to connect here see here first it is active or inactive double click on this one and see this is active or inactive it's showing here sorry it's showing here manage relationships it's showing here what it is active if i close this then go and try to connect here employee with the submitted by also now we got here one more thing but we can notice there is a dotted line there is a dotted line 
dotted line indicates it is an inactive relationship. If you want, you can go and you can see here, opened by based whatever we have the join, it is active. Submitted by one, whatever we have it, it is inactive. If it is inactive, what is the meaning? How the report will be uh, changes behavior. We are trying to develop a report. One is called as role I want. Second is employee I want. Third is hours I want. Let's see what will happen. I am trying to take a role. We are trying to take a role. Let us go and try to take the role first. Then we want to go for employee. Then we want to go for year hours. Now you can notice something like this, we got it. Something like this, we got it. If you closely observe here, all these roles are, what type of roles we got it? Project sponsors, they, they only sponsored the project. They only sponsored the project. What is the join it is going on in the back end? The join it is going in the back end is this one. What is this one opened by? Who opened this project? Who opened this project? That means opened the project means what? He's a sponsor. He's a sponsor. He opened that project. Submitted by is nothing but people are working in their project on different issues. So this guy, it is based on the opened by it is worked. So Project sponsors, we got it. Let me take this snapshot. Let me go to the snippy. Then for our understanding purpose, I am trying to take this one as a snapshot I am taking. I'll keep the snapshot like this. I want to change back only one thing. I want to change it. Previously, this is working based on the open by it is working. Now I'll make that as a inactive. I'll make submitted by as the active. Only change I did is Previously it was king based on the open by. Now I'm saying as based on the submitted by. If I go and try to close it, now you can see submitted by is dotted line came. That means it is active. Open by is came, sorry, open by is came dotted line. That means it is inactive. Submitted by is came solid line. It is active. Am I clear? Submitted by is active now. Open by is now inactive now. Now, if I go and try to see the report, see here how we got it, project leads and managers, we got it. Project leads, managers are nothing but who are working in the project, who are not really sponsored the project. They're employees. They're working in the project. Project sponsor is the one who sponsored the project, who initiated the project. Are you getting my point? Yes. That means same report, same report. Previously, it is given different result. Previously, it is given this result. Now it is given this result. Only change is how the join is working back end. Now we need to understand the importance of active relationship and inactive relationship. So if I go here and if I try to make this as an inactive, this as an active, then based on that one, it will work. And we'll see the initial result. We are going to see it. So that's where we need to think and we have to provide. If you have two or more relationships are available, two or more relationships are available, we always need to think what relationship is the best we have to think about it. And however, it is always a confusing area. Giving two relationships giving two or more relationship between two tables is always confusing area. In order to avoid that confusion, in order to avoid that confusion, go ahead and try to duplicate the table and make sure only one relationship is available between the tables. That is the best idea. Hmm. Can How you to break that? No, I am saying giving like this active and inactive always comes with some confusion. Okay. To overcome that kind of confusion, make sure only one relation only available between the tables. If you need, if you need two or more relations, then make duplications in the table, make duplications in the table and try to make like that. I mean to say, I have an employee role. This is the dimension table. It is a small table, I can say. 
this table one wherever it is available one wherever it is available that table go ahead and try to duplicate it <laughs> meaning of duplication is let us go and try to do here i am going here then create here new table there is a data tab in the data tab there is option called as new table click on this new table then we are giving the name as employee role role as sponsors i am going with the sponsors purpose i am going here is equal to then we are taking the same employee role table so in this employee role table whatever data we have it with the data i am creating a new table called as what employee role sponsors table i am creating same data just it is duplication making the duplication is very easy we need to go to the data page click on the new table give some name put equal to then between the single quotes write the table name what you want to duplicate it what you want to duplicate it now if you go to the model let us go and try to model here you can notice one more table will be introduced here now one more table is came here now you try to provide here join properly let us go and try to take like this here this is based on the submitted by this is based on the open by let me select this delete this delete this that relationship we deleted and this relationship whatever we have it we are making this as a active relationship we are making go to the manager relationships then make this as active submitted by we have here active and this is for the sponsors we created the join between this one and this one is based on the opened by and this is active here now if now we can go and you can develop two types of reports you can develop it if you user wants user wants role wise who are working in the projects how many hours they worked how many hours they work then take the data from employee role and project project tickets if user wants get the data from sponsoring wise then take one more table here take here one more table now take the role take the employee from the sponsors table and take the hours now you see here now i got here two records i got it this table and this table combination we got this and this table and this table combination we got this are you able to understand this one hmm. so this is the best way of doing it don't create multiple relationships between two tables if there is a situation demanding multiple relationships there is a situation demanding multiple relationships break the table duplicate the table as a two as a two and try to make sure only one relationship is available between two tables and and end users that means business users rename the tables accordingly this is sponsors related that means what whenever you are looking for sponsors data take columns from here whenever you are looking for employees normal employees who worked in the project take the data from here like that we need to educate the business as well as developers okay this is what what i want to discuss about wrong active relationships if the relationship is wrong then what is the what is the problems we are going to face it and if you if you want to maintain proper active relationships or if you want to avoid multiple relationships what is the solution we have to follow we understand the solution is wherever one is available that side table try to duplicate how many times you want that many times duplication is very easy we need to go to the data page and we have to duplicate something like this yeah please go through it then we'll look into other topic hmm. 